As the drought in California continues into its fourth year, efforts have been made in all areas concerning water to solve the crisis. From our households, to agriculturists, to landscapers, everybody has been rationing water and cutting usage. But it still seems that we're fighting a losing battle. Now there's new hope, namely, the Internet of Things. Over the past few decades, humanity has created the powerful tool of interconnectedness, a phenomenon that makes vast amount of unsegregated data quick to gather and easy to analyze. Using this information, solutions to problems which seemed otherwise without hope begin to emerge. The technologies used to gather such information have become smaller and cheaper, which means more power to gather information from the world around us in a less intrusive manner. And this is where Eva comes in. Water in California is used in three major sectors, 50% environmental, 40% agricultural, and 10% urban. Environmental water aside, water for agriculture and urban use is transported mainly from the northern part of the state to the more arid south. This transport happens along the California State Water Project and the Central Valley Project, a network of canals, reservoirs, aqueducts, pumping stations, and power plants. It extends for more than 600 miles, two-thirds the length of California. Much of the canal is open to air, and therefore evaporation is a major loss along the system. A paper published by UC Davis in the spring of 2015 estimates a loss of 9,300 acre feet per day through evaporation. That is 3 billion gallons, which is close to the daily water usage of 31 million Californians. That's 80% of the population. So as we turn the power of the Internet of Things on the problem of California's water usage in various sectors, why not also apply it to the aqueduct system as well? Since much of the California State Water Project and the Central Valley Project is open aqueduct, it would seem that covering the whole surface area of the canal should solve the problem of evaporation. But there are two major flaws to this idea. Firstly, the aqueduct is essentially a man-made river which connects to natural rivers and deltas. And therefore the whole project boasts an ecosystem with a flourishing number of fish and aquatic species which need oxygenation and sunlight. Secondly, the economic costs of such a project are high and the maintenance of the already aging canals would become a further issue. Our solution aims to identify stretches along the system that are most vulnerable to evaporation. This will be done by measuring real-time data of various parameters that cause evaporation via small devices which float on the canal itself so that they can collect the most localized data possible. After collecting and mapping this information to create a model, cost-effective solutions such as solar panel bridges or wind barriers can be strategically placed to bandage only the most vulnerable parts of the canal during different times of the year, therefore providing a non-intrusive and cost-beneficial solution. Eva is likely to pass through remote parts of the canal. It is possible she will not have access to cellular network or Wi-Fi. To transmit her information, she daisy chains her data through her counterparts till it reaches one of them who is in the vicinity of a Wi-Fi network. At the core of Eva, we have a Samsung Arctic 10 microcontroller. This amazingly powerful and versatile board is tailored for the future of the Internet of Things. Arctic works in congruence with many developing platforms like the Arduino, which was great for us. The Arctic 10 is the brain that coordinates the collection of all the data inputs from EVA sensors and is also responsible for putting all this data on the cloud by its integrated wireless connectivity. In this way, data EVA collects can be analyzed and studied from anywhere on the planet. Having Arctic 10 on board also means a whole lot of computational power making Eva completely autonomous when it comes to crunching data and navigating herself at the time she may slip off the grid. Eva is equipped with a GPS receiver shield, allowing her to give us precise information about her location. She is also equipped with a weather shield, which reads barometric pressure, relative humidity, luminosity, wind speed, and wind direction. Eva is powered in a sustainable way. She has a solar panel with a charge controller connected to a lithium ion battery that powers Arctic and the many sensors. Eva also collects water temperature and salinity data by a sensors mounted on her underside. They connect directly to Arctic and use its analog input pins to transmit the data. Eva's conception was inspired by the drought in California, but her application of mapping the evaporation rates of water systems 
can be used all over the world.